Oh my god, you guys, the struggle is real. It is two. Oh, you can't even see that. Anyways, it's two o'clock in the morning. You can see that. Two o'clock in the morning. <sighs> I'm a sad looking dog here. Because she knows that I'm sad. <laughs> I must be really tired. Making this sweater. I'm finished. But one panel. One side panel. I'm done. The back panel. <sighs> and I did the other side panel. And guess what? Guess what, Bailey? I realized I grabbed the wrong yarn. Yeah. This, you see a color difference with this, you guys? Yeah. Yeah, pretty sad. Pretty sad day. Used a whole ball of yarn. And it's the wrong yarn. This is white. This is cream. I did the whole sweater in cream. And the last ball I grabbed was white. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Bailey, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me it was the wrong yarn? And I had this whole thing all sewn together. I had both the panels sewn on the back panel. And I just had to take it all apart. And now I have to redo this panel. Ugh. Yeah. Pretty pathetic. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you could have saved me the trouble, Bailey. You could have saved me the trouble and told me that it was wrong. But no. Damn it. Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today, today is a getting it all out video. <clears throat> um, I need to vent. <sighs> and you guys are all my friends. And I thought, you know, let's talk to you guys about this because I know that you guys can relate to this. Okay. You saw the clips. Um, I have had my, my Crow Joe and my foundation, uh, <clears throat> my confidence foundation has been shaken pretty hard and I'm not sure what to do about it. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> um, I don't even know how to start this video. I haven't been doing a lot of videos because I have, I've just been, I feel like I've been crochet punched. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Um, I, it seems, it feels like nothing, it doesn't matter what I make. I screw it up bad. Uh, and I don't know how to shake this. I don't know if I should take a break from crochet and maybe make some jewelry. I haven't made any jewelry in a long time. <clears throat> um, or do something for a while. Like I just, I don't know what to do because I am frustrated. I am angry. I'm, I'm not enjoying the process anymore. Um, I have all these ideas in my head and I'm just like, I want to do this and this and this. But every time I put crochet hook to yarn, something happens and, and my confidence goes in the toilet. Okay. Um, it all started with the Allura Dan and cloak. You haven't seen that in a while because I had to, shelf it. <clears throat> I was so raging. <clears throat> Sorry guys. I, I went back to coffee creamer. Stupid me. 
So now I've got the hands <clears throat> again because I'm lactose intolerant. Hello. But it tastes so good. And because I'm depressed and I'm beating myself up, uh, I decided to just beat myself up even more and drink creamer and gain some pounds. And Anyway, <clears throat> different rabbit hole. Um, okay, so if you remember, the Allure Dan and Cloak was supposed to be, it's a collaboration that I'm doing with Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie. Um, Charlie hasn't been able to pick up hers either because it's a, it's a big project. Well, it's a bit of a stressful project. <clears throat> and I know you guys have been sending me the pattern on Etsy, but I wanted to struggle it out. I wanted to figure it out myself. Um, and I, I wanted to come up with my own design and stuff like that. <clears throat> my mistake. Um, so what happened was I got to the point where I was going to put in the armholes. I put in the armholes and then I thought, I think I better try this on. Okay. So here it is. <clears throat> here it is there's one armhole there's the other armhole okay um so i measured them out and i thought okay that's probably the right size then i thought okay i'm gonna let george try it on because <clears throat> it doesn't seem to feel right like it just it something about it just wasn't right well number one it's not near long enough i thought 300 stitches was going to be long enough it doesn't when you go to put this into the armhole it hangs out about like that it's supposed to go way down so that was my first indication there was something wrong <clears throat> um, then I realized it was not hanging right at all. Like it was just, it, it, it was not long enough. I could have probably done 600 stitches and it probably would have been okay. Possibly. So I put it on George. <laughs> I should have taken a picture of that because it was quite comical. And I looked at it and I looked at it and I looked at it and I was like, how do I fix this? I can't add on to the ends. So, cause I mean, I, you can see the stitches, right? Like it's not, it's not a pattern that I can just add on. So I thought, well, okay. So what if I made it into kind of a vest, right? Because I'm not finished. I'm supposed to have like another five inches on the top. But it just was not working. And then I thought, okay, well, what if I put a back piece on it and made it like a Rowana? And then I realized I don't think that's going to work either because of the way it hangs. <sighs> then I thought, okay, what if I frog it back to the arms, get rid of the armholes and make something else, leave it as a scarf or something. I don't know. I got so frustrated with this thing. I went, okay, you know what? I am absolutely destroying my brain trying to figure out what to do with this stupid thing <clears throat> I had such high hopes for this and I was so excited about it and I also noticed that Charlie was having problems with it she was getting frustrated I had a talk with her I says what do you what do you want to do do you want to scrap the project do you want like what do you want to do and we both agreed that there is so much work in this already that we're not going to scrap it. Um, she's going to keep going with it. 
I, I think I'm going to completely revamp it and do something else. Uh, whether or not I make it still make it into a cloak, I don't know. <clears throat> so I don't know. So that's where this all started. Uh, my confidence went absolutely bananas with that one. Um, I thought, well, okay, put it away. Uh, I really wanted to, um, make something that was easy, fun and easy, uh, to get my mind off it. And I made this one, this sweater. This is <clears throat> the sweater that I made, um, from... Angela from my precious yarneries, Pat, my precious yarn. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I always get that wrong. I don't know why. Oh, don't tell me. It's probably the mailman. Hang on. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I I made this. I absolutely love the way it turned out, but I hate the yarn that I used. The way this came out so blotchy, I hate it. Um, a lot of people, a lot of you said that you loved it and you thought it was unique and cool and everything. My OCD can't handle this. Um, I, I think the sweater's gorgeous. Uh, I love the hood that I put on it with the tassel and the whole bit, but this, I don't like it at all. Oh, it's George. Hold on. Sorry about that. My man is home for a little bit. Um, so anyways, yeah, I, I absolutely love the way this turned out, but, <clears throat> but this just, this, I can't deal with it. So anyway, um, I'm sure that someone will like it and it will sell, but again, shook my confidence. Okay, then... I, I really needed to make a gift for my sister. Um, cause her birthday is this weekend and I, she's been bugging me for another sweater and she's bug, been bugging me about putting pockets in a sweater. I hate doing pockets with a passion. Ugh, I just, I hate sewing them on because you sew them on crooked or whatever. So I got this brilliant idea to put in invisible pockets yeah um <clears throat> never done it before i figured that this would be something really special so i'm i don't know if you guys saw my instagram post uh or I, it was i think i did it as a short and um <clears throat> yeah <sighs> this is it I can show it now because my sister's birthday has already passed. <clears throat> um, you guys, you guys, I, I made this sweater going from front to back, like two panels going up and over the shoulders and down the back. Then you, you know, I, I have a whole process. I've got a sweater uh, in my tutorials that show this process. <clears throat> And I don't know why, but I had the Allura Dan and cloak in my head when I was doing this. And I was thinking, okay, I need two pockets. I need them to be like this wide. <clears throat> so I'll leave a space. I'll chain, say, 15 for the pocket. And I went down, I chained 15 for the pocket, and there were two holes. <clears throat> excuse me so there was two holes I was all good I was like yeah I did it I got it all measured out and everything I even put it on the floor and measured it all out and then I did eight inches worth here before I realized something because at that point I like I, I finished the one side of the panel 
And then I went, okay, I got to try it on, flipped it over my shoulder and realized my biggest mistake. <sighs> I put, I put a pocket on the front and I put it on the back. Why in my head I was thinking it was going to go this way? <laughs> I don't know. Because that's what the Elora Dannon cloak was. <clears throat> For the, the armholes was you crocheted some, you made a hole, crocheted some, made a hole, crocheted some. Right? Like that's the way it went. <clears throat> this. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I was just absolutely devastated. I just, I cried and I thought, what is wrong with me? <clears throat> I had to frog back eight inches. And I'll tell you, when you're using two different colored yarns and one of these stitches is a, is a bobble stitch and you have to frog all that yarn and you've got yarn all around you and getting tangled and... <sighs> It was late at night. I do a lot of my crocheting late at night, and I think that's another big problem. Um, I I didn't know what to do. I was I, I was absolutely floored. So I got it frogged. I got one the one of the pockets taken out and started again. So yay! I fixed that. Right, put it over my shoulder. Everything's good. I continue on to the, uh, the back of the sweater. And now it's time to do the other side. I start doing the other side, get it down, get the pocket where it's supposed to be on that side. Yay, everything's perfect. I keep going. I am so happy, right? I get the whole piece finished, that whole piece done. Now it's time to do the arms. I finished doing the arm panels and now it's time to actually attach them onto the sweater before I sew everything up. I lay it all out on the floor. Somebody had asked me, one of the Arnabies had asked me to videotape how I do the arms. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to videotape this part and I put the attach the arms and then I fold the sweater up to make it look like a sweater right so I put that down on the floor and I'm looking at it and the whole front panel both sides here are about that much shorter than the back <clears throat> I am absolutely broken at this point. I'm going, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Um, so I go, all right. <clears throat> I, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. I'm I'm just absolutely devastated again. <clears throat> I sat on the floor, cried. George was in bed, and I handed it up and I called on my mom. And I said, Mom, I need your help. This sweater is supposed to be special for Charlene. Um, and I've messed this up. I don't know how I've messed it up, but I've messed it up. And I need help. I don't know how to fix this. I can't frog it all. Do I start over again? Do I scrap this? Do it like, what do I do? And I'm just crying. <clears throat> and I all of a sudden heard a voice whether or not it was my mom or not, I don't know. But I all of a sudden instantly stopped crying and I knew what to do. I pulled the 
front panel up a little bit and I decided to make the front shorter than the back. It was already there, right? <laughs> but I figured, you know, like you see some of those sweaters that the front is shorter than the back. The back, hang, excuse me, hangs down, right? So that's what I did. <sighs> the relief that came over me was insane. Um, then I, I put the panels on or the, the arms on, sewed up the sides, sewed up the side, the arms, got that all dealt with, got the cuffs on. I was so ecstatic. Now I needed to fix, finish the pockets. Now the pockets are right here. Let's see if I can bring this forward. <clears throat> now, you can't see them, but they're right here. Okay. So, they're kind of hidden. Right? But you slide your hand in here. So I needed to make the pocket piece for the sweater. Or for the pockets. <clears throat> Okay, that's easy enough. I go round, around, around, round, round, finish the pocket, sew it up. Now I got to attach it to the sweater um, so that it doesn't flop around on the inside. Tack it all down. Oh no, I hadn't done up the sides yet of the sweater. <clears throat> I tack it all down. And I figure, okay, I'm going to do one row going up and down the side, right, to attach the inside. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. But right here, seam of the side, I decided that I was going to do one row, attach the pocket to it, like sew it, crochet it in basically. I get that done on both sides. I try it on. I had sewn the pockets in backwards, not forward. So if you're putting your hands in, they're supposed to go in like this, right? They went in this way. At this point, I am, I'm drinking. <laughs> I went and I poured myself a drink <clears throat> and I don't drink very much but I was just like I can't deal with this anymore and <clears throat> so I had to frog that whole row flip the pocket so that it's facing this way not this way and then I did a row all the way around here and attached the pocket right to the sweater. <sighs> okay, it's in. I put my hands in and realize I should not have gone and done it straight across here. It's actually supposed to go down so that when you put your hands in, your hands kind of go down a little bit, right? At that point, I'm like, I don't care, F it. <clears throat> it is what it is. So her pockets go this way. <laughs> it's like, whatever, just get this bloody thing done. So I did the collar. I was planning on putting a hood on this and went, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with this thing anymore. <clears throat> so it's finished, finally. <laughs> then I decide... I need a palette cleanser. Oh no, sorry. Then I decide to do this poncho. Well, you guys saw the video of what happened there with this poncho. <clears throat> I was so excited about this poncho. I was like, my sister's sweater's done. The whole fiasco is finished. I can just let it go, ground it out, and start on this gorgeous poncho. 
finish the poncho and the poncho doesn't sit right in the front blah blah blah, blah, blah. you guys saw that video um <laughs> so now i'm sitting here going what is wrong with me i'm like all right i need a real palette cleanser i need something that's easy peasy that i don't have to think about i can rest my brain and you know, I just I let it go. Let it go. <clears throat> so I figured I loved this sweater so much, except for the color, um, that I wanted to make another one. So I started making one. I even posted um, a picture in my Facebook and on my um, Instagram and everything saying, hey, look what's on my hook. What do you think I'm making? Right? Oops, wrong way. So I started doing this. Okay. Not a green person, but you know. <clears throat> um, so I am I love the way this is turning out. I'm like, yay, okay, it's all good. I'm, I'm going, okay, I finished the back panel. I start doing the side panels. I start doing the second side panel. I need another ball of yarn. I go over to my stash over here. And by this time, it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm on a roll. I go and I grab the yarn. I go to my my couch there. I start making the other panel. Right? I finished the panel. Yay! Right? Now I can start putting this together. No, I have to make the arms. And then I can start putting this together. Right? I'm all excited. Do you see the problem here? Oh, there's crochet B. Do you see, do you see a problem here? As soon as you say a problem, I show up, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a distinct color difference, isn't there? I've got, you can't see it here, but underneath this shelf here, I've got <clears throat> my white yarn and my beige yarn. By this time it's two o'clock in the morning. I realized I had grabbed the wrong ball because I went back to go get another ball. And I went to grab the white and went, well, wait a minute. Nope, I'm supposed to go with the beige. And then I went, oh, oh no. I went back and I realized that this panel, I started doing this row in white. And then I continued on and did this panel in white. <clears throat> so now I had to frog back the one row and do the beige and you can't even see I've still got a tough of white that I got to take out of there um so I I finished that one I got that panel done and then I said you know what I got to go to bed I can't deal with this this whole panel has to be frogged and I have to redo it with beige yarn you guys I I went to bed last night George woke up to go to the bathroom and I was in tears and I said to him, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if I need to take a break from crochet. I don't, I, I have no idea what's happening to me, but something is happening. I don't know if the moon is like, I don't know if the planets are aligned wrong or what's going on, but every project I touch right now, is a mess. 
and I don't know what to do about it. My hands hurt so much all the time. I've got this electric hand massager thing that I've been using. Um, I've been talking about going back on carnivore because the pain, I, I'm in constant pain um, from head to toe. And somebody had mentioned to me, well, maybe you've got fibromyalgia or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know what it is. But what I do know is that eating carbs is bad for me because it, I went from being on carnivore and not having any pain to when I went to go take, go and take care of Tia and Axel when Axel was born, my grandbaby, I was eating carbs like crazy and I haven't stopped since. And he was born on December 17th, right? So he's almost two months old on the 17th and in, in today. He's two months old today. Oh! Um, so anyways, I, I haven't stopped eating carbs since. And uh, I have been in pain ever since. And I mean a lot of pain. <clears throat> like my hands hurt, my knees hurt, my neck, my shoulders, my back, my feet. Like everything hurts. And I, uh, I'm just, so I'm constantly, when I'm crocheting, it's like my hands feel crippled. And, but I want to crochet. I want to keep trying to crochet. Now, I don't know if I'm putting a negative energy into my projects and that's what's happening. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know, but I know it's got to stop because I can't keep going like this. Um, <clears throat> So I don't know if I, if I try to work on getting rid of my pain, if everything else will fall in line. I don't know if I should take a break from crochet and do something else. I don't like, like I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm angry. I'm, oh, I know I'm not alone in this. I know a lot of you go through this too. It's because the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. And then there's that. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the Super Bowl. <laughs> um, I should be on cloud nine right now because I have had so many people talking about this Jacob's Ladder blanket that I did. You know... The buzz is crazy right now with this. Um, I'm so excited to see people take the Jacob's Ladder and run with it. Um, like, but I, I am a mess. I'm an absolute mess. <clears throat> so, I don't know if I'm asking you guys for advice. I don't know if I'm asking you for encouragement. I don't know... I just want you guys to know what I'm going through right now. And if I'm not doing videos, it's because I'm struggling. I'm struggling emotionally, physically, spiritually. I'm in all, all aspects right now. <clears throat> um, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get through this. And I'm trying to get out on the other side of it. But yeah, crochet for me right now is a big struggle. So, <clears throat> yeah, happy video, eh? <laughs> I'm I'm wearing a big bright color. I never wear this, it, but I, I I figured I'm I have to look. Like, see, it's a Mandela. Isn't it pretty? <clears throat> this is one of my dragon boat. Um, sweaters jackets George bought me um you know I'm trying to think you know I'm I'm I have to work more too so I'm 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 stressed out about that too and so yeah there's a lot going on guys 
and it's all coming out in my crochet. So if you're on the struggle bus, I'm there with you. I love you all. You guys are my rock. My rock. You guys are my support system. Um, I love you all. You guys mean so much to me. And thank you so much for the encouragement. Like with this shawl, you guys came out in droves and, <clears throat> and encouraged me. And told me it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's, it's up here that I need to, um, to be okay. And I'm not okay right now. So, yeah. Okay. So hopefully it will pick up, be, be a bit better because when you're seeing this, uh, I will probably be at my niece's baby shower, um, or that day, uh, Saturday. So, and it will be my sister's birthday. <clears throat> and I will be holding Axel in my arms and that makes everything all better. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Axel did come and visit me briefly uh, a few days back and I really needed that visit. I really needed that visit because I had just gone through this thing and I was feeling really down and he just made everything all better for that day. <clears throat> so I'll leave that clip after this. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. I love you all. Bye. Hey, Yarnabies. How are you? Guess what? I got a surprise visit. You know, Axel, whoops, Axel came to my house. First time ever being at grandma's house. Um, so, yeah. It's, Tia came, dropped him off, and the family came out and visited. And I had a video chat with Sandy, my bestie Sandy Duda. I left his right crochet, gave her a little sunshine um, for the day, and uh, showed her, introduced them. Um, he's KO'd right now, but he's <laughs> KO'd. <laughs> Look at his hair. Oh my god brilliant red hair wow <laughs> I didn't realize how red it was until I did this huh so yeah so we're sitting having cuddle time not getting any crochet done <laughs> of course but uh, yeah loving it <laughs>